It is impossible to talk about the manufacturing process of chicken nuggets without mentioning all the ingredients that come together to make this masterpiece. First and most important is chicken, mainly the chicken breast meat, then other ingredients including the wheat-based batter, additives, preservatives, binders, thickeners, emulsifiers, a special kind of milk called whey, fillers, anti-foaming agents, vegetable oil, lemon juice solids, and a bunch of chemical compounds like calcium lactate, monocalcium phosphate, and a long list of others. Don't worry, these chemicals are healthy, as many of them act as salt and have important body functions like building strong teeth and preventing tooth decay. So how do all of these come together to form the fascinating fast food? Well, you're about to find out. These nuggets are made in a McDonald's production plant, which is a massive factory several thousand square acres large, with an insane amount of people working there. This doesn't come as a surprise because the company has millions of demands to meet daily, and the only way to do that is a massive workforce in a grand factory equipped with several high-tech machines. The first step of production is the preparation of the chicken, and this includes separating the chicken skin from the whole chicken to get the meat we're interested in. Hundreds of whole chickens are placed on a stand, and a machine moves these chickens from station to station at a slow speed. At each station, there is a factory worker whose job is to cut specific parts of the chicken, and the chicken gets more disassembled as they move down the line. Some factory workers cut away the thighs, others the breast, the tenderloins, and so on. However, not all chicken parts go into the nugget. The only ones that do are the rib meat, tenderloins, and chicken breast, while the rest are used to make other McDonald's meals. Once the pieces have been cut up, another set of workers separates the chicken skin from the cutlets. However, the skin is kept aside because it is eventually added to the nuggets for flavor and as a binding agent. Next, the chicken cutlets that do go into the chicken nuggets are placed in a big grinding machine. This machine is not a conventional grinder because first, it's massive, and second, the grinded up paste is extruded from a wide opening, which empties into a moving conveyor, which in turn, transports the grinded up chicken to the next stage of production. This paste is made entirely of white meat, and rather than being smoothly blended, the chicken paste is rather rough, which is the reason for the texture of McNuggets. Some people think that the mixture used for making nuggets is a smooth pink slime, but I can tell you for free that the mixture used is entirely based on meat gotten from the chicken itself, not slime. The McDonald's company shut down this rumor by releasing a video showing the production process of the chicken nuggets in one of their plants. The moving conveyor moves the roughly blended chicken to a high-tech mixer, which combines it with other ingredients. These include water, chicken skin, and most of the ingredients we mentioned earlier. Everything except the ingredients used to make the batter. Summarily, these ingredients include salts for flavor, food starch for the juicy taste, and natural antioxidants to protect the flavor of the nuggets throughout their shelf life. This mixing process goes on for a while and is then collected into large buckets with rollers. Afterward, the factory workers move this bucket onto the next production stage. Next, this mixed chicken is sent to another machine, where they are cut based on the four shapes of chicken nuggets. First, the machine flattens the mixture by kneading with considerable pressure, and then the flattened mix is put through cutters of different shapes. The newly formed almost nuggets are placed on a conveyor which takes them to a machine that covers them with beaten eggs before coating them with a thin layer of batter. This batter is made of wheat, flour, garlic, salt, and pepper, all of which have been mixed together. Afterward, the nuggets are coated with another layer, which consists of brother, which is made using another list of flavorful components, such as white pepper and celery. The final coating applied to the nuggets is one that is unique to McDonald's chicken nuggets. This is called a tempura coating, which is a thicker batter compared to others that have been used before. It's made up of wheat flour, corn flour, starches, and leavening agents, which aerate the batter and give the nuggets their special taste. After being coated with at least three layers of batter, the conveyor takes the nuggets to the fryer, where they are deep fried at high temperatures for just a few minutes. Afterward, they are scooped mechanically onto another conveyor, 
which takes them to the next production stage. Due to the short time taken to fry the nuggets, they are not properly cooked at the factory. The short frying is just to set the tempura coating and get the somewhat crusty texture associated with nuggets. Meanwhile, the meat underneath all that coating remains uncooked, and they remain that way until they arrive at the McDonald's restaurants where they are recooked. Once they leave the fryer, the nuggets are exposed on a wide surface surrounded by coolers to prepare them for the next phase, which is the packaging. Another conveyor takes them through another machine, where the nuggets are portioned into packs and sealed after ensuring the package is airtight. Next, the packaged nuggets are taken to a freezer supplied with circulating air, where they remain until they are ready to be transported. This is important because the freezing ensures that all the flavors of the nuggets are locked in. Also, the special freezing conditions ensure that the nuggets don't lose their moisture when defrosted. Some batches are taken to the kitchen within the factory, where they are fried and evaluated based on their color, shape, juiciness, and flavor. At this point, the factory's work is done, and the final stages of production take place at McDonald's restaurants. Upon request by the restaurants, specific quantities of the frozen nuggets are bagged, boxed, and loaded onto a transportation vehicle, which takes them straight to the restaurants.